Investigators say they know who shot and killed a woman on a Pickens County boat ramp. In fact, he's already behind bars. This is a picture of Casey Clayton Waldrop. He's facing multiple charges, including murder, grand larceny. Addie Hampton standing by live at the Greenville County Detention Center where Waldrop's being held tonight. So, Addie, bring us up to speed. What's the latest? Well, Gordon, Pickens County Sheriff Rick Clark said today that Waldrop waived his bond hearing in Liberty in Pickens County today, which is why he's still over here in Greenville tonight. He was actually out on bond for a felony grand larceny charge from Greenville when investigators say he shot and killed Reza Farah Khan in the head, then stealing her car, leaving her for dead. Today, Sheriff Clark said they haven't yet nailed down a motive, just that Waldrop and Khan knew each other. They believe Khan was driven in her black dog charger to that boat ramp off Buckskin Road where they say Waldrop shot her once in the head around 3.30 a.m. Sunday. Now sometime between then and last night when he was arrested, they say Waldrop tried to conceal the car by spray painting it and parking it at a Greenville apartment complex off White Horse Road. Investigators were tipped off about that car and when they were out inspecting it, Waldrop showed up. They chased him for a moment before arresting him, also detaining the people he was with and they inspected the car. They were were all in. They found that 45 caliber gun that they believe Waldrop used to kill Khan. Today, Clark called Waldrop's actions evil. Khan was a mother of four children. That's what makes this so tragic. And it's hard to believe that a life can be taken by some of the stuff and some of the evil that we see today in our society. And it bothers us greatly for that. And our prayers and our thoughts and our hopes for her children are with them and the Khan family. Now, more charges are expected in this case pending against those people they say helped Waldrop in those 36 hours before that arrest, Gordon. Yeah, it sounds like uh, part of the thing that sped up the timeline on this arrest was some of the technology they were able to bring in and use. For instance, something called a portable fingerprint scanner. What is the deal with that? Yeah, pretty interesting. They say it saved them about six to eight hours worth of time, which is pretty significant when the first 48 hours are pretty significant in a murder investigation. They were actually able to scan Mrs. Khan's fingerprint, seeing that she didn't have any identifiers on her body or near her at that time. So they were able to get her identity much faster than normal and able to uh, find Waldrop pretty fast. That's pretty amazing. All right, Addie Hampton, thank you for that.